Welcome back to the show. Well, as people spend more and more time on sites like Facebook and LinkedIn, face-to-face -face networking has really become a lost art. Yeah, but networking is still a great way to find a job or make new connections, and it's never too late to learn some new communication skills, right? A little lesson in improv can make it work for you. Here to help us improve our networking skills are Stevie Ray and Kevin Pearson from Stevie Ray's Improv Class. Welcome oh, back, you guys. Good to see you guys. See you guys. Yeah. Thanks for having me. That was a good little networking thing we just did. Right here. Yeah. Was that a good one? Can I have a job? Good. <laughs> <laughs> now that's bad. You're going to tell us about that. People want to do the easy route, which is go to the newspaper, go to the internet, and those are not as effective. Uh, most HR directors are reporting now that the most effective way to get a job still is face to face. I don't um, think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because uh, people decide what to do based on emotion and connection, and they justify their decision later with fact. So your qualifications don't mean anything unless I like you. Yeah, and they put a face to that. And they exactly. feel like they know you. If they like you, they'll find a reason and an yeah. excuse to hire you. But so hopefully that face-to-face -face does lead to a good impression. <laughs> yes. Right. And what you're going to show us today are three common scenarios. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you kind of the bad way to do it and then what right. you could do to, to improve that situation. So when you meet somebody, and we're not talking just about networking functions, which are very important, but if you meet somebody at a coffee shop or on the street or at a party, there's always some type of opportunity there. Uh, one thing that people do wrong is, especially nowadays because things are kind of desperate, people appear desperate. Mm -hmm. So they want, they want, they want. And if you come across really just wanting a job, then that's going to turn the other person off. So why don't we show that right now? Okay. Start uh, with the greeting. Okay. okay. Uh, so we're going to have Kevin be a business owner of like a glass company. Okay. And Rob, you're going to meet him and you're going to do it the wrong way, the first way, which is really needy and wanting a job no matter what. Okay. Got, All it. Right. Got it. So, okay. So come <clears throat> Hey, Hi, Kevin hey, Pearson, hey, Pearson Glass. John nice Hanson, oh, Pearson Glass. Yeah, of course. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, Thank gosh, you. yeah, glass. I, that, that's kind of what I do, is oh, glass. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I put glass in the houses. That kind of not working right now, you know, oh. the whole layoff thing. But uh, but absolutely looking to get back into yeah, it. Yeah, see, what really he did right off way is, is, now you saw Kevin, and he was being really polite, going, oh, really, oh, really. Good Minnesota guy. Yeah. He was, <laughs> Minnesota. He was enjoying what I had to say. And he really wasn't. No. No, no, <laughs> no because it's all about you. And people are all about themselves. So you have to find out what they need and be the person that can help them with what they need. So get, get the person talking about themselves. There's an old sales thing. You can never talk anybody into anything, but you can listen them into it. So the more you let this guy talk, the more he'll like you. So why don't we show it again, okay. where you just ask him, ask him, ask him all about himself. And, okay. and we'll give, it, we'll give okay. it another shot. And it do really doesn't matter what I ask him, just talk about just him. Just get him to talk. Hey, John Hanson here. Hey, Kevin Pearson, Pearson Glass. Oh, Pearson Glass, how's the business going? Uh, going pretty good, even in these tough times. We're still making some good sales with some big projects that are going in with construction. Good, good. What, what, kind, of, what kind of projects are you working on right now? Where are you working on different oh, projects? Oh, uptown, yeah, in uptown, there's a whole new parking ramp going up, and oh, all that fantastic. glass is ours. We had a bid on that, and it's actually going really well. What we're needing right now probably is more sales-directed people to try to get our name out there more. Good. Well, hey, hey, you know, I, I'm kind of one of those people. I would right love to there. talk to you about oh, it sometime yeah. in the future. And that was great. Okay. So you still have to let them know what you want somewhere in there, but you work it in? You work it in. And you try not to ask, right? You try to be yeah. the person to say, oh, you know, I've got some ideas about that, yeah. and we should talk sometime. And as long as you're not needy, yeah. uh, notice the more he talked, the more he found you interesting. And I'm more helping him. <laughs> yes, because, exactly. You by the way, I, I've got some ideas along yeah. that. Okay. The more you let the other person talk, the more they think you're a really interesting person. Gotcha. Now, then the other problem people run into at networking functions is if you ever tried to enter a circle of people <laughs> that are already talking, it feels yeah. really awkward. Yeah. We at Stevie Ray's, we call it the prom circle, because when you go to the high school prom, uh, it's, it's everybody with their friends, and nobody leaves until, until they're forced to go ask somebody to dance. Then they go up and say, want to dance? No, OK, and they leave. <laughs> Back away. So we're going to be you know three my people. Experience, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talked. Um, and but I'm not slow dancing with you, so don't okay. ask me. Uh, so we're going to be three people already talking. And okay. John, you're going to enter, okay. and you're going to be kind of awkward about it. And okay. so why don't we step up here and be the uh, be the people already talking. So we're just talking about the dance. <laughs> yeah. The great DJ up there. Oh, oh it's yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Best of the 70s, best 70 of the 80s. 70s. Yeah, 70s, 80s. Yeah. Great. He was funny. He was funny. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. oh, hi. Hi. Hello, 70s. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Did you see him do the limbo? Unbelievable. Limbo. He's in an Fast. ambulance. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you see the way. <laughs> I want to see that again. Yeah. <laughs> that might work his way into so my. So that home. was not the way. Well, to you go. notice how you kind of entered weekly. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't announce yourself. You didn't introduce yourself. You just kind of 
sidled in a little see, bit. See, I think a lot of people would think that's the way to do it. You see it happen so often. Yeah. And because we're uncomfortable, especially if there's really a lot of fun going on, because we, we're not a part of it. Right. And so what you did was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And that's like the kid on the playground you didn't want to play with. Yeah. And they tried to be a member. So you got to enter powerfully. Okay. You have to be confident. You can't be a bull in a china shop just rush in. Okay. You have to introduce yourself and make yourself part of the conversation. Because the most important thing is we don't want to have to do the work of supporting you. We you want, want to you. know that he can take care of himself and be part of us. Exactly. I think I can do that. Okay, ready? Now, then we're going to hire you. I'll take care of myself. All right, let's step so. out here and be the people. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I just could not believe they didn't have any prints, though. Could you believe no, that? No, no. I mean, Who's you're Prince? in Minnesota without oh, prints. I got to teach you. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. John Hanson. Hi. Yeah, John. Ah, good to see you guys. I heard you talking about prints. Oh, hi. Right. Oh, I love prints. Yeah. I'm learning about them. Fantastic. Are you really? Three great things he just did. Three great things. Sorry to interrupt which means you're acknowledging that we're already here. You shook all of our hands right away and said your name, and then you related to something we were already talking about. Notice you were talking about prints. We now can just relax and know that you are going to be a part of this easily rather yeah. than us having to support you. So I fit in if I talk prints. Oh, anywhere. 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 Anyw
Okay. So again, honesty, honesty is again. best policy. Honesty. Hey guys, right. it has been great to have you here. We've got to do <laughs> more got, of the show. I've got over there I want to meet. We really do. Yeah. 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 Thank you very yeah. much. There's I, another show. Good to be back again. Thank you. Okay.